I think that we're gonna need some wine for this. <laughs> Cheers. Hello, YouTube fam. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie and I'm so happy to have you here. Before we get started in today's fun, I just want to go ahead and ask that you guys please help your girl out and go ahead and make sure you subscribe. If you are not subscribed yet, I am judging you. All right, so I am turning 25 tomorrow, Libra season. Quick shout out to my Libra peeps. We are actually the best horoscope sign. Just done, period. Let's get that out the way. So in honor of my 25th birthday, I figured that we could do something a little bit fun. I wanted to do a Q&A. So I went on Instagram and requested questions from you guys and I picked my favorite 25 and also like among, it's not just my favorite, not in terms of like what I do and don't want to answer, but it's like if a bunch of people asked one same question, I definitely made sure to put that in here. It's a lot, it's a lot of questions. We got a lot to go through and yeah, so grab a snack, grab some wine. And let's get into this. By the way, I am drinking Justin Cabernet Sauvignon. That is my favorite. I only drink Cabernet. Someone actually suggested that I take shots after every question. And I was like, girl, do you want me to die? All right, so number one, what are three habits that will improve your life? Okay, three habits that will improve your life. I would say one. So for me, any income that I get, the first thing that I do is decide how much of that I'm gonna save. With my nine to five job, it's pretty easy to do that. I just set up something with the bank and say I want X amount of my salary just put into my savings account. And that way that money never really even touches me. Like I'm not able to even see it. Cause if I saw it in my account, I'd be like, ooh, your girl can buy some food some makeup, some hair products, you know, but when I don't see that money at all, it just goes straight to my savings. That is huge. Another one is waking up early. Like that can really, really change your life. Waking up early allows you to get a few extra hours in your day. You can use that to meditate. You can use that to pray. It's just some extra time to get yourself in like the right frame of mind to do what you gotta do for that day. My third habit that could change your life is self-reflection. I do this all the time. It's because I'm kind of a little bit of a perfectionist. So I'm always, always, always critiquing myself, reflecting back, seeing how I can do things better. I just feel like it helps you learn from any mistakes. It's important when you self-reflect to like not really get down on yourself. Don't like go down that path. But just some general self-reflection is always a good thing. All right, so number two, what is your favorite moment of the past year? <sighs> so much has happened in the past year. I'm so thankful. I feel like this past year has been my hardest and my most rewarding. Like I feel like I've gone through some shit, some like deep shit, but I've also accomplished some amazing things. Um, I think my favorite moment of the past year was going to Essence Festival with Diva Curl. That was a huge career highlight for me in terms of my blogging career. Like, it was awesome. So just Essence Festival itself is amazing, and I love it. It's just black girl power, and it's amazing. Then to go with one of my favorite brands, I got to meet some amazing women, other bloggers, and it was just, it was life-changing. I think that was probably my favorite if I had to pick one. All right, so number three, someone asked, did you ever think you would be living the life you are now 10 years ago? The answer to that is hell no. 10 years ago, I would have been 15. And when I was 15, I was all about the football. Football was my life. Believe it or not, I was like a major tomboy when I was younger, like all the way growing up. And when I was 15, I was graduating from high school here. We're in the British system, so we graduate pretty early. Then I did boarding school for two years in Georgia. And then I went on to college. So at 15, I was getting ready to go over to boarding school. And the whole reason why I wanted to do boarding school was so that I could get scouted for football for college. Lo and behold, I ended up tearing my ACL, which is a ligament in your knee, twice, had to get two surgeries, and then I had to retire football and kind of figure out my life. Sorry, please excuse my dogs. 
Anyways, football was literally my life. Like I was on the national team. That is what I envisioned myself doing. I wanted to go pro and I wanted to make it a career. Like that was my life. And it wasn't until I got injured and had to stop playing that I was just like, whoa, like what do I do with my life now? Um, so yeah, I would say my life is completely different right now than I ever, ever imagined at 15. All right. Any advice for girls who ain't got self-confidence because of their body shape or hair texture? Girl! Okay, so firstly, don't compare yourself against anybody else. I feel like that is the biggest contributor to a lack of self-esteem. When you are looking at somebody else's body or somebody else's hair, it's so, so easy to get caught up in the whole like, why don't I look like that? Why doesn't my hair curl the way hers does? Why is her hair growing faster than mine? It's really, really easy to just get caught up in that and that is just like a downhill slope. So definitely do not compare yourself. When you're thinking about self-confidence, it's all about you and you are allowed to be selfish. Think about yourself, put yourself first. Figure out the things that you love about yourself and stick to those. It's kind of just like focusing on the positive side, glass half full instead of empty, you know? Just try and focus on what you do have. And then if there is anything that you necessarily don't like about your body or don't like about your hair, the first thing you need to ask yourself is, is there something that you can do about it? If there's something you can do about it, go ahead and change it. Do whatever you need to do to change it in a way that you will enjoy yourself. If there isn't anything you can do about it, you have to accept it, own it, flaunt it, done. You gotta be your own best friend, your own number one fan. Oh, you guys, I like these questions. Number five, what is something personal that you've overcome this year and how do you feel now? Y'all are getting deep. This is like, this is deep. So this kind of couples in with our last question, but I feel like this year I've kind of overcome self-doubt. I actually feel like I'm still kind of overcoming it because it's still, you know, the self-doubts just kind of pop in whenever they feel like it and then it's just, it gets overwhelming sometimes. But I definitely, definitely have done better now. And it's just in terms of doing what I just mentioned before, you know, being your biggest fan, doing what you gotta do. Um, because at the end of the day, nobody's gonna hype you up more than you can hype up yourself. Wine always helps too. All right, number six, what keeps you going every day? So what keeps me going every day, like in terms of my vlogging, I would say you guys for sure, like hearing your stories, getting your messages, asking questions, like all of that stuff really keeps me going every day. That's really what made me start documenting my natural hair journey in the first place. You guys are honestly what keeps me going every single day and that's why I always say I'm so genuinely thankful for all of your support because you don't, I mean, you don't have to be here watching me, supporting me little old me like you don't you don't but you're here and you're doing it and I really really love you guys for that all right number seven what made you want to be an influencer on Instagram and YouTube honestly I feel like it's like a lot of you you watch other bloggers on YouTube and Instagram and think like wow their life looks amazing it looks so fun I want to do that I totally fell into that and I was like oh I would love to try it so that was definitely an initial attraction to it. The second thing that made me want to be an influencer was that I just, I had so much, I feel like I just had so much information to share. I was passionate about cruelty-free makeup and non-toxic cosmetics and then I had my natural hair journey so I felt like I just had so much to share and I was just kind of willing to just try it out and see where it took me. So I actually really, really enjoy it and I did film an entire video on my blogging journey. So I will tag that up here and also below so that you guys can check that out as well. But I got really in depth on that video on like how I got started and how it works now, how I'm liking it, blah, 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 all of that stuff. So if you guys want to watch that, go check it out. All right, number eight, what are you mixed with? So I'm Jamaican by blood and Caymanian by birth. I was born and raised in the Cayman Islands and I also have Chinese in my blood, but yeah, that's it. How did you know which career was the right career to pursue? Honestly, I just kind of followed what my interests were. I never ever stopped to think like, oh, what's gonna make me money or 
that kind of thing. I was never driven by like salary. I was more driven by my interests. What was I passionate about? What kind of sparked my brain? Like what got me excited? That's really where I would put myself towards. So like I remember in school, the first time I ever took a business class in high school, I was like, wow, like I really like this. Lo and behold, I ended up going to college and I got my bachelor's in business administration and marketing. So I knew off the bat that that's just something I was interested in. I pursued it and yeah. How often do you condition now with color? So as you guys know, I recently colored my hair and I haven't really changed my hair care regimen at all. I still just deep condition weekly, which for me is on Sundays, my little self care Sunday. And that's it. Um, the only thing that I've added to my routine is using Olaplex. They have like an at-home treatment. I think it's their number three. I haven't noticed any damage or issues or changes in my curls since I've colored just yet, at least. Um, I think it's because we didn't use bleach. I was adamant about like not using bleach. So I actually filmed the whole process on my iPhone. So it's on my IGTV. I will put my little Instagram name here. So in case you guys want to check that out, it is there. Number 11, are you ever insecure? You seem to have it all together. Girl, am I ever insecure? Let me drink some wine first. Things are not always as they seem, especially when it comes to social media, bloggers, digital creators, even regular people. You're only gonna post your best self online and you're gonna make yourself look great because who is gonna post a picture of them at their worst? Like nobody wants to do that. So. 100% yes, I want to be transparent with you guys and I want you to know that I 1000% have my insecurities. Earlier I was talking about my self-doubt and it is a real, real thing. I really feel like feeling insecure sometimes, it's just a normal way of life. You just acknowledge it, pull yourself back up and then move on. Number 12, did you go to college? I sure did, and it was the best experience ever. Your girl graduated summa cum laude. I'm just gonna big myself up for a second because I worked my ass off for that. And honestly, I feel like the best part about college was not the education part. Now, I'm not gonna lie, like I, I learned a lot, like especially on the business front. I went to Stetson University. They're known for their business school there, so it was awesome, but I really, really learned a lot about life in general at college, living on your own, having that kind of freedom, meeting other people your age from all over the world. Like, it was huge. Like, I love, love, love college, and all of the people that I was friends with in college are still near and dear to my heart. I still talk to them, like, almost every day. So, I just love college. I smile when I think about it because it was one of the best couple years in my life. I feel like that's when I was really starting to, like, learn and, like, grow into the woman that I really wanted to be, you know? All right, so number 13, if aliens landed and limited our use of products to three only, which ones would you choose? Can wine be one? So number one would have to be a brow pencil. If there's one thing that I always, always do, it's put on my brows. Number two, I need a moisturizer. If you know me, you know how much I love skincare. So I would need a moisturizer. I think my favorite right now is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Moisturizer. It's so good, especially for nighttime. And then three, my Diva Curl Super Cream. Super Cream can do everything. Yeah, so I feel like I could still conquer life with my brow pencil, my moisturizer, and my Super Cream. Boom, done. What's your main job, for example, besides blogging, modeling, etc.? So my main job is an events executive. So I work within a marketing team in a law firm here. I love my team. I work with a group of amazing people and I'm constantly learning new things from them every day. Um, nine to five life is not my favorite though. I've always just been wanting to push for this entrepreneur life. So hopefully we can get there soon. All right, number 15, what's your happiest moment? Mm, I think my happiest moment is when I finally moved into my apartment. Like the day of when I just walked in and I put down my first box of things and it was just me there and I was just like looking around like, holy shit, like this is mine, this belongs to me. I own this apartment 
Like it was just a surreal moment for me that at 24 I was able to purchase my own place. I just felt very proud of myself and yeah. That's definitely one of my happiest moments within the last year. When and why did you decide to go natural? This is this is a long this is a long answer, but I'm gonna tell you everything. Back in 2017, it was about summer 2017, around June-ish, August-ish. So I tore a ligament in my hip and I was getting ready to go into surgery. Now it just so happened that right coming up to my surgery. I had a decision to make, it was right up to relaxer time and I was like okay I'm either going to relax now and be cool because I had to be out for 6 weeks or I'm going to not relax and just see how it goes. I decided like you know what I'm just not going to get my relaxer, it was just like an off the whim decision like, ugh, like I'm kind of too lazy to get it and I don't really want to spend the money right now. So while I was recovering I started to feel my new growth and I would always play with my new growth and I would just be like wow like. This is crazy like I'm kind of curious to see like I wonder what my hair would look like. I had been relaxed so long that I had no idea what my natural hair looks like. So I was kind of just like alright this is kind of cool like let me just see where it goes like you know. So after a while it started to become a thing of alright let's see how long I can go without a relaxer. So I kept going and I actually then stopped straightening my relaxed hair. With like with a flat iron so I would instead do like little wash and goes and I would put a lot of product like curling custards and stuff and scrunch up the ends so that it could kind of curl up a little bit and I think because my roots were a little bit curly it kind of helped the ends to curl up a little bit so I actually started wearing my hair just kind of natural-ish and then once I did that I noticed that I actually preferred how I looked with curly hair. Then I kind of made a little decision because especially with the whole natural hair movement going on, I saw pictures of people big chopping, pictures of people going natural, you know, that was just everywhere, it still is. And so I was like, okay, you know what, let's see if I can transition to natural hair. Like even at this point, I didn't commit to anything. I was just like, let's just see, I'm gonna try to transition and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> so I made the appointment for like middle of December and I was like, okay, this is either gonna be a trim or it's gonna be the big chop. I'll let you know on the day of, but we'll see. But at some point, I was kind of like, you know what? I'm doing this. I'm sick of my transitioning hair. Like, that's how bad it was. I just could not deal with it. So then I ended up big chopping, and then that, you know, the rest is history. The rest is all on Instagram. <laughs> all right, number 17. I need more wine for this. Okay, number 17 says, tell us about Bay. <sighs> okay, fine. Well, I've kind of been a little bit more secretive. Not really secretive, but like kind of guarded in what I share on Instagram about Bay because I just want, it's a very new relationship. And I just want us to have some time together to just kind of build a foundation for our relationship and just be to each other and not have to worry about 90,000 people on Instagram judging you and all of that other stress that comes along with sharing your life on Instagram. But I will tell you guys a little bit. So Bay is a guy who lives in Cayman with me. Do you hear my voice? It's like, oh, I'm so in love. Anyways, um, so he is somebody that I've known ever since I was like 11, 12 years old. And I always friend zoned him when I was younger. But we remained friends over the years. And then, I don't know, recently we just kind of reconnected and, you know, things happened. And we started dating. And it has been amazing. I do love him. And I don't know, I think this could be... A great one so that's all I'm gonna share I'm not telling you his name not showing you a picture not doing any of that I really just want to go a long while like at least a year before I actually like open our relationship up to you guys and I hope you guys can understand I just I just want to be able to focus on us right now you know what I mean all right 18 what are you doing for your quarter century birthday oh my gosh there's gonna be so much Okay, so I already kind of celebrated my birthday a little bit. So I went on a trip to Orlando, which was amazing. 
you guys would have seen all the great stuff that I got up to on my Instagram. It was like an early birthday vacation. It was just amazing. And then this past Friday, I went to dinner out with my girls. It was turnt. It was lit. We had an amazing time. And then tomorrow on my actual birthday, I usually always go to dinner with my family. So it'll probably just be my mom and dad. And we'll go out to dinner and just have a good time. So it's been like a two week span of like celebrating my birthday and I plan to just keep on going. I'm such a birthday person. I love it. And I feel like any excuse you have to celebrate life, you should. At number 19, what would you say is the best slash most important thing that you've learned in 25 years? Whew, in 25 years. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. What have I learned? Um, I think the best thing, like the most useful thing that I've learned is kind of going to be a repeat of what I've said earlier in this video, but it's learning to be your own number one fan, your own best friend. I feel like when I was younger, I used to really rely on my friends for that. Like I needed validation from friends, from family, for everything. And it was when I got older that I realized like you cannot always rely on other people for validation or else you're going to end up hating yourself. So I would say that's one of the most important lessons that I've learned. You have to just love yourself. I know that saying is like outplayed now. It was like a trend and it's kind of like outplayed now, but honestly, that is the best thing that I've learned. I've become a pro at it. I can always pick myself back up when I need to. And I feel like that is majorly important in this life. <sighs> oh, you guys, I'm starting to feel hot. I feel like I'm getting turned. All right, number 20, any goals that you want to meet before your big 30 arrives in five years? Oh, you guys are creeping me out with that. I'm going to be 30 in five years. That's weird. Anyways, I think that before I'm 30, there are definitely a few things I want to do. Definitely want to be married before I'm 30, and I also want to be a full-time entrepreneur. Whether that's through blogging, owning my own businesses, or all of the above, that's really something that I am striving for for before 30. Okay, number 21. What's it like living on your own at 25? It's great. Now, I have to be open with you. I did move back in with my parents. I just wanted to make some money moves at the beginning of this year. I decided like that was one of my goals this year to just make money moves. And so I ended up renting out my apartment to make some extra income and save it for some other big goals of mine. So I am currently living with my parents again. But I can still speak to what it was like living on my own. And it was amazing. It was amazing. It was a little bit lonely at times, but it really does help because I have a dog. But I really loved it being able to just be in my own space, having a space that is 100% yours that you could go to at the end of a bad day. You can sit there in silence and just breathe drink some wine and be fine. I sound like a real wino. Guys, I'm not an alcoholic, I promise. But it's just, it's amazing. It is a little bit lonely at times. Like I did have friends come over from time to time just because sometimes it's like, okay, I need people here. But for the most part, I really, really enjoyed it. All right, number 22. I get this question asked literally every day. How do you get your hair to grow so fast? First things First, I did an entire video on hair growth and all my tips and everything, all of the above. So I'll link that above and below for you guys to check out if you want. But in a quick summary, first things first, hair growth is all determined by genetics. So if you just have the genetics where your hair does not grow as fast, like your hair, nails, that kind of thing, then your hair is just going to naturally grow at a slower rate than other people. There are things that you could be doing to potentially like slow down the rate of your hair growth. So those are things like not cleansing your hair enough, um, not just not taking care of your hair. Um, I always make sure that every week I am deep conditioning. I am always checking the ingredients on the back of the products that I use. It's really just about TLC. If you give your hair all the love that it deserves, it's going to grow as fast as it can. All right, number 23. Did your curl texture change after you big chopped and did your curls get softer? This is actually a conversation I have with my mom on the daily. So my mom is currently transitioning to natural hair. I am so excited by that because she was so dead set against me big chopping. And I have now 
influenced my own mother into going natural and it's amazing but yes if you are transitioning and you're trying to feel your new growth and try and judge what your hair is going to be like girl you will be scared because my new growth was so rough and it's because products don't really get to your scalp one and then number two it's different types of products that you're going to use on your scalp you know what i mean like different products are going to work for your curly new growth versus your relaxed ends or damaged ends or whatever the curls 100 percent did change after i big chops they're continuing to change every single month now and it's crazy but um they definitely did get softer all right we are almost there biggest lesson you've learned this past year okay i think the biggest lesson or the biggest i don't know i don't know if i could call this a lesson but just something that I've learned this year that has been huge for me is that hard work genuinely does not come without reward. It might feel like it for a long time, but there will be a reward. If you just keep working your ass off, you keep doing what you gotta do and just working hard at whatever goal it is you're trying to accomplish, you will get that reward and it's gonna be sweet. It's gonna be sweet, I'm sorry. I'm cursing now. Y'all gave me wine, or I gave me wine, and now I'm cursing. But it's gonna be sweet. Like, hard work does not come without reward. It feels so hard and difficult and stressful and time consuming in the moment when you're doing the behind the scenes things that people never really see. It's usually that moment, right, when you're ready to give up, that some something's about to pop off. Don't give up, it's coming, manifest it, work for it and it's yours i promise you all right last question number 25 how do you deal with dry hair i condition it okay actually hold on this is a big one so i actually stopped using oils in my hair like the standalone oils like you know the argan oils moroccan oil all that kind of thing I stopped putting those in my hair and I found my hair was a lot more moisturized. And the thing is, I've said this in other videos before, especially on Instagram, I've mentioned this to you guys as well, but oils really just kind of coat your hair and it doesn't allow any other moisture to get in. It's kind of like a barrier, just like this, like on your hair. And it just doesn't let any additional moisture come in. So when I stopped using oils, I noticed a major, major difference in my hair. I also, whenever my hair is feeling dry, I make sure I use a more moisturizing co-wash. So I will usually reach for my As I Am Coconut Co-wash that is super creamy and it's got a lot of slip. And then I'll also make sure I do a deep condition with my little hot head. Yay, that's it. Wow, that was a lot. 25 questions is a lot, guys. But there you have it. I feel like you guys know a lot more <laughs> about me. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I told you to do this in the beginning. Did you do it? Help your girl out. Go and hit that subscribe button. I promise you won't regret it. I, I promise. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Happy birthday to my fellow Libras. Let us celebrate. Cheers to you. Yeah. I'll catch you in my next video.